it is turquoise it's so nice to be fishing such clear water this has been working a treat today so far Now then and welcome back to another episode of Adventure Fishing UK. I'm on holiday in Madeira, it is a volcanic island in the middle of the sea, sort of near Africa. So this island is actually part of Portugal, gonna be a bit, of, not so much a fishing holiday, more of a holiday with the girlfriend, but we're gonna do plenty of fishing when we're out here. This is gonna be video one of quite a few hopefully, so today we are hitting up this jetty thing. I've had a lot of advice, I'm gonna be doing some LRF. So I've got a couple of special thanks. Special thanks to James from Ultralight Lads and Richard from the Devon Lurfer. It's been a huge, huge, huge help in me sorting all the gear I need, all the tackle, putting a big order. Big thanks to those two guys. I'll leave links to them in the description below if you wanna go check out their channels. So I hope you enjoy. And if you do, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and there'll be another Madeira sea fishing video soon. I'll catch you down the road. So my setup for the day, rigged and ready RR1000 on top of the semi-telescopic fish rig 180. You can actually get 10% off anything from the rigged and ready website using discount code AFUK10. So someone local's fishing down here and he's just shown us this. I think this is some sort of wrasse. Not too sure, looking forward to getting going. So this bloke over here, just, I've just been talking to him, he doesn't speak a word of English but he's just giving us some bread or some sort of weird mixture and I'm putting it down and it's getting bites straight away I just can't quite hook up on it for some reason they're just taking it off every single time I put it down they're taking off George has just got a micro jig on but I want to stick with the local methods first and just try catch a fish that way they're nibbling it, they are nibbling it Oh, they're just biting it off. They're just biting it off straight away. So George has just caught this fish. This is actually poisonous. This is called a rock fish, so you can't touch these or the spikes will get you. Just gonna quickly unhook this fish and get it back. Right, George has one up with the rock fish. Switched over to the modern techniques now. We've got a bit of isome on there. Isome, isomy. Be the first to admit I don't know how to pronounce that word. Ah. They are nibbling this like crazy. Go on, son. Just had it. Nearly had it then. Oh, it's come off again. Just had another one come off. Yes, I've got something. That's cool, isn't it? Look at that for a fish. My first ornate wrasse. Isn't that beautiful? Look at it. It is tough to get these fish to bite. Well, it's easy to get them to bite, but it's tough to get them to stay on the hook. Their mouths are so tiny, but they are just biting like mad. So many fish around. And they are just creaming this every time it goes down, but... I just don't know how to stop this happening, how to hook up more. Maybe I should have brought smaller hooks or something. Yeah, it's got one, slightly bigger. My fish number two, another beautiful ornate wrasse. These have to be one of the most, if not the most beautiful fish I have ever caught. I mean, look at that. Just can't put into words how much fun this is. It's just been non-stop bites. As soon as you get this little worm down, they are just going crazy for it. But the main issue is they, they just don't stick on the hook very well. I'm using size 16 hooks and they're just not sticking, but what can you do? They are going through this stuff like nobody's business. So I've just been fishing for a bit and I've just noticed that I've got a slight hook bend so I'll have to sort that out. But yeah, my setup, five gram HTO drop shop weight, weight I think that is, 
it might be an S Pro or something like that anyway brand doesn't matter little drop shot weight and then we've got that on a size 16 hook and then as bait we've just been using pink uh, medium sized ISO this is the stuff apparently this is the go to for a lot of the LRF guys yeah this has been working a treat today so far it's just so nice to be somewhere genuinely warm fishing for really cool colourful species I'm surprised at how colourful those ornate wrasse are to be honest um, there are a lot of them around too but not as much variety as I'd have hoped for to be honest that said Georgia did have a rockfish early doors I think that's what it's called anyway and I did lose a couple of puffer fish too if you are enjoying this video so far please don't forget to like and subscribe really helps me out really helps the channel there'll be plenty more fishing videos like this coming soon And another one. Just look how beautiful these fish are. This is my third ornate wrasse now. A little bit of isome on that hook. Working a tree. Look at that for a fish. There is just so many of these ornate wrasse around. I'd love to catch a puffer fish now. Because we have seen a couple of those. Or I've had a couple on and they've come off on the way up. Which is a shame. But I can't complain of this. Well, that's all for today, folks. Thanks very much for watching. See you for the next video, and I'll catch you down the road.